Hey guys, welcome back. Today I'm gonna to be giving you a flip through of the Spectrum Reading Grade 6. And this says it's correlated to meet the current state standards if that's something that you care about, but focus practice for reading comprehension, fiction and nonfiction passages, story structure, integration of knowledge and ideas, key ideas and details, and then it also has an answer key. I like the Spectrum Workbooks because they are really simple, straight to the point, and they achieve the goal. So my goal for my sixth grader is to get more reading comprehension. Here you have your table of contents. There are 75 stories. If you have your child do two a week, they can finish this entire book by the end of the school year. The answer key is in the very back. This is very basic. There is no teacher instruction tell you how to do it. It basically gives you the passage on one page and then you have different forms of questions like here are just answer these questions. Here you have some fill in the blank, use the word, circle the word that best fits. And then it's going to give you some story elements like an idiom, what that means. And then your child would have to produce or create an example of that. Same thing, story on this page, there are about seven questions. This one says, check the sentence that best states the main idea. So they're focusing on main idea numbering events in order, um, describing the purpose, and then answering some basic questions about the passage. They will also go into some fact and opinion options here as well, and then answering different questions. It says, check the line beside the word that best describes what type of passage this is. So you're also learning about different types of passages as well. True or false questions, answering these, and then putting things, uh, what's the purpose of reading this selection or why did the writer write it? Another passage and it goes into the main idea. So typically there are between seven to 11 questions per passage. It also talks about point of view. So we're talking about different parts of writing, different elements of a story your child will also get within this reading curriculum. And it just follows the same pattern. One page for reading. Paragraphs are typically numbered. Then they would go into different types of questions. There is some vocabulary here. Uh, write the words from the story that have the meanings below. Then they will answer additional questions, putting things in order in which they happen. So chronological order, which is great. Definitions of what a summary is. They're going to get that as well. Do you flip through? There are more true or false questions. And then check the sentence below that is the best summary of paragraph seven. So they will specifically have to summarize paragraph number seven, which starts here and ends over here. More true or false, more fact and opinion. And then they get different story elements. So now we're talking about dialogue. Dialogue is what a character says. So they're getting the meaning of dialogue. And then the words in dialogue are always in quotation marks. On the line below, write the words that are in dialogue in paragraph 13. So it refers them specifically to paragraph 13. Well, they will use that to answer that specific question. They are also learning how to read tables within this curriculum. More fact and opinion. They also will go over Latin root words. Then it says the Latin root mar means C. Find a word in paragraph one with the root mar. And they would go to paragraph one and find that word. That works with vocabulary, really helps on that as well. They learned the climax of a story, more true or false. And as you can see, I have not seen a passage that requires more than 11 questions. So anywhere from eight to 11 questions. Oh, there's one that's 12, okay? So it says the Latin root form means shape, and then they would go and find that word, and that helps them with the definitions. When you get to the back of the book, they have all of the answer keys here. Some of these say answers will vary, which we know we're talking about reading comprehension and sometimes our own thoughts and opinions come into it, but generally the answers are within the same category as, as other people. So that's why they would put answers will vary. And it has every single answer for all of the pages and passages that are presented.